refugees typically come from situations where they have very little um, background on the way of life here, um, how to um, how to live in our culture and our society because they've lingered in a refugee camp for 15 to 20 years. Um, so when they get here, they need help with pretty much everything. The Refugee Response is a non-profit organization founded by the David and Paul Nodifor. It's usually focused on helping the refugee who decided to live in Northeast Ohio, Cleveland here. Both Paul and I have extensive background in Southeast Asia, um, working and teaching there for um, about four and a half years, during which time we had a number of Burmese refugee students. Over that time, cultivated a relationship with those students. Three years ago, we started through one of the relocation agencies, working as mentors with, with one family, and that evolved organically to addressing the needs in several families. Meeting Paul and David, I mean, once you meet them, you, you, their energy is contagious regarding getting to know and getting to want to help the refugees in the Cleveland community. A large majority of these uh, resettled refugees were really farmers, so we immediately thought of utilizing some of the vacant urban plots in Cleveland. That re renew my, my memory on the land of farming. We planted something and see it growing, that's my old job, and I like it that way. The amount of people who are going to the West Side Market or coming to the neighborhood who stop by the farm and get excited about what they see there, which is literally this gorgeous six acre farm in the backdrop of downtown Cleveland being farmed by a group of refugees. The farm has extended that energy of the market district north. The farm has really pulled this neighborhood together. You know, they're going on a person by person basis. You can see each refugee and each family uh, kind of supported and, and doing work and, and getting involved in the community one at a time. So it's, it's really fun to see that. Just to have the opportunity of somebody growing whatever products you want and have it delivered two hours after they pick it, I think it's pretty amazing. There were a number of families who wanted to access um, extra support academically for their children. Our home tutoring initiative um, is currently in eight households um, and we're working um, with local volunteers who are working one-on-one -on -one in what really uh, becomes sort of a mentorship program. I was introduced to Omira and we hit it off wonderfully when we first met and we've been study buddies for two years now. Her family is just fantastic. Um, they welcomed us uh, wholeheartedly. We feel like we're members of the family when we come. Um, and last year, uh, Sister Marie Doyle um, accepted six into Urban and currently are, are doing exceptionally well at the school. And what they've done in partnership with schools, including the Urban Community School in Ohio City, is to make sure that the children of the refugees who relocate to Ohio City or to Cleveland uh, are on the right path and are in these in wonderful integrated educational opportunities. I think that the connection has been a great one in that they have brought us children to Urban Community School who are very enthusiastic and eager to learn and they really add a wonderful dimension to our school. People should get involved with, with working with the refugee response because it's the right thing to do. Refugees are here, they're in our communities, their children are going to the same schools that my children go with. To get out and reach out to them and get to know them, it's enriching. If, like, if you came here, you can do anything you want. Like, if you have a gym, you can make your gym come true.